Hey everyone, my name is Madison. Thanks for checking out my channel. Today I'm going to do a short review of Live Not By Lies by Andy Dreyer. In a previous video I shared a few of my thoughts on this book, but I just wanted to take a few minutes today to uh, discuss a few elements of this book that really captured my attention and made it worth the read. First of all, the author predicted what would happen at the beginning of 2021 almost to a T. He predicted that it wouldn't be our government that turned on it first, but instead it would be our big tech companies. He wrote this book in 2020, but I read it in January, right after the riot at the Capitol building and the subsequent attacks on freedom of speech by big tech. This, as I was reading this, it kind of prepared me to have to have a bit more faith in what the author was going to try to tell me throughout the rest of the book. I might have been a little bit more skeptical if he hadn't literally predicted what was going to happen months ahead of time. Second of all, he doesn't simply blame the left for what is going wrong in our country. Instead, he looks at what's happening and he looks at what's happening on both the left and the right and he specifically blames cons the consumer mentality that leaves no man untouched in the modern Western world. This has taught us to believe that our personal comfort is the most important need that we have, and that we should give up our privacy and our less important rights, like freedom of speech, in order to maintain that personal comfort. He also discusses China, which has turned rather capitalist in their economic policies, but is still an intense police state. I was surprised and impressed that he didn't just shout, capitalism is king, and expect me to listen to what he had to say. Since reading the book, I've learned a little bit more about the author, so I should not have been surprised by that, but I was. So for those two reasons, I think that this book is an honest, fair look at the so soft totalitarianism that we are facing in this country, and I would encourage you to give it a try. If you've read it, let me know what you think. If you've read anything else by this author, he's written a couple of other things, um, particularly The Benedict Option, which my husband read, but I haven't. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. Bye.